Today I'm going to talk about lumpectomy for invasive breast cancer. So lumpectomy is a general term. It's the same as partial mastectomy. It's the same as a uh, breast conserving therapy, breast conservation. So these are all the same thing. Lumpectomy is a commonly used term, so that's what I'll talk about uh, today. So if uh, you have an invasive breast cancer in your breast, that's picked up on mammogram, ultrasound, MRI, some sort of imaging thing, um, usually as a mass. So there's a clump of cancerous cells, and that clump forms some sort of mass that uh, shows up on imaging. And a biopsy is typically done prior to the surgeon evaluating you. There's uh, another talk on breast biopsy. You can check that out. But once a biopsy has been done with a needle, usually a clip is left uh, next to the area that was biopsy that showed the cancer. Um, if a surgeon sees a patient and the patient and the surgeon decide that they want to save the breast, then they would offer a lumpectomy type surgery. Uh, there's really two ways of doing the lumpectomy. One would be if the mass is palpable so you can feel it palpable, um, then you could just feel the mass and you could remove it by feeling the area that it's in. If you cannot palpate it, uh, then you might need to do a wire localized lumpectomy. Wire localized means that the clip is seen on a mammogram or an ultrasound and a wire is placed into the breast the day of the surgery. Uh, these have a little hook at the end, so we call them J-wires. And this wire is followed by the surgeon down to the area that needs to be removed, and then you know you're removing the correct area of the breast. So either uh, you can palpate the mass and direct yourself to it that way, or you can use a wire localization. Uh, there are other techniques. Um, some surgeons will actually ultrasound the mass in the operating room or use a radioactive uh, bead in there that they can actually sense the operating room. But either way, once you remove the mass from the breast and it's outside of the body and the clip is in there, a lot of us will do x-rays uh, of the mass outside of the breast once it's been removed to ensure that the clip is actually in there and the mass is actually in there. This is really done more for things that are not easily felt. So just to be sure that you actually removed the correct area of the breast, uh, this is called the specimen radiograph. So uh, that's the goal of the lumpectomy surgery, and we want to have a rim of normal tissue all the way around the tumor before the edge is cut. And if the tumor does extend all the way up to one of the edges of the excision, that's called a positive margin, that may require that the surgeon has to go back and remove more say the positive margin is over here, the surgeon may have to come back and cut more out over here. Typically we don't know that at the time of surgery. That's usually something that's discovered after the pathologist gives us the final result from the surgery and the re-excision of a margin is done at a separate surgery. Um, we also almost always will check a sentinel lymph node biopsy in the armpit for invasive breast cancer. Um, a sentinel lymph node is only done for invasive breast cancer, uh, lumpectomies typically, and there are exceptions to that, but uh, as a general rule, invasive breast cancer gets sent in a lymph node biopsy. And that's also a uh, separate talk about sentinel lymph nodes. Uh, and the other thing to know is once you've had a lumpectomy, that is very important that the patient knows that they'll likely be offered radiation. And radiation is whole breast radiation that's given through the breast tissue to kill any remaining cells that may be floating around the breast tissue. Even though the majority of cells is probably in the main clump of tumor, there may be a few scattered cells outside of that main tumor. If you do not give radiation, maybe 50% of women or so will redevelop a tumor in the next 20 years. If you give radiation to the breast after a lumpectomy, we think probably less than 15% of women will develop recurrence of this breast cancer. So it makes a big difference to give radiation. Drops the recurrence risk from almost half down to about 10 to 15 percent. The other question I frequently get is what do we do with the space 
after we remove the tumor, but we just leave it there. Um, you want that space to fill up with fluid, and that fluid is called a seroma. And a seroma really holds the shape of the breast uh, so that there's not a big indentation there. Um, some surgeons will also move a piece of tissue inside the breast, what we call a parenchymal flap reconstruction, pull the breast tissue together to support that area of the breast so that there's not as much of an indentation in the future. So uh, some <coughs> good questions to ask your breast surgeon if you're thinking about a lumpectomy for an invasive breast cancer would be, are they planning on doing it by palpation guidance? <coughs> um, are they going to use a wire localization to help localize the area of the tumor? Um, are they planning on doing a specimen x-ray at the time of surgery to ensure that there's a mass or the clip is in the specimen? Or what technique are they going to use to ensure that they're removing the correct portion of the breast? This is especially the wire localized and the specimen x-ray are really important for not easily felt tumors, um, especially in larger breasts. You want to be sure you're taking out the correct part of the breast. Um, and then you may want to ask the, the surgeon uh, how often, how often uh, they have positive margins, in this case positive being bad, meaning that there's tumor at the edges of the lumpectomy cavity, and what do they do for the, uh, what do they do when they find tumor at the edge of the lumpectomy? Do they take the patient back? How often will they try to repeat the excision of the margins? Um, those are all good questions to ask, um, so hope that helps. Thanks for watching.